Hello friends, uh, I am Parviz and today uh, I want to show you how you can deploy um, your Qt5 C++ application in Windows. Uh, okay, the, this is uh, Qt5. Uh, now I want to make a new project. Uh, I want to make a widget application. Uh, make a name. Uh, I give it deploy app next next i choose q dialog next and finish <coughs> okay uh, this is my application uh, if i run this uh, you can see Yeah, this it built successfully. Okay, now in Qt, uh, in here, if you you see, we have two modes in here uh, for deploying application. Uh, the first one is debug, and the second one is release. And what is the difference between debug and release? Uh, basically, the debug version is uh, larger, uh, and it's also slower, and it take up more memory. Uh, it's for um, debugging purposes and release version is uh, it takes uh, less memory than the debug and uh, also uh, the re when you uh, when you, ma you when you make an application and you want to give it for your friends or uh, you want to give it for anyone uh, you can use the release version okay now i have uh, uh, run this with debug now i want to run this with release ver with release mode if i run this <coughs> you can see that this is in release mode mode okay now uh if we open uh we our our file our cuta file uh, my cuta projects are in uh, my documents uh, the project name was uh, let me um, deploy app okay uh, yeah this is now in here uh, if you watch this uh, I have um, yeah this is uh, I have the the release and the debug version of my application uh, uh, you can see that the size uh, this is the uh, debug mode uh, the debug version uh, the size is 3 MB uh, you can watch if I give the properties if I check the property it is 3 uh, more than 3 MB uh, if I uh, um, check the release version the release the release version is polished version and uh, the size is uh, more than less you can see that it is 216 uh, 60 uh, KB. Okay. Now uh, the issue is deploying of the Q and deploying of Q to five application. Okay. If I open the release version uh, and in release, if I run my this executable file, you can see that it's not running. Mm, even though that we have uh, uh, it is running successfully in the Q Q to five framework, but it's not running. Um, I can we can't run the exe file uh, because uh, if you watch this, it's telling me that the program can't restart because Qt5 code DLL is missing from your computer. Uh, every application in Qt5, when you are making an application in Qt5, uh, you need uh, you need some DLLs from Qt5. Okay. Now I have uh, in here uh, a dependency walker. Okay. Now if I open this uh, and I open my uh, application uh, let me find it okay in my QTAP project um, yeah this release uh, choose my deploy app.exe and I open this it will give me error you can see error was detected when uh, processing because it needs some DLLs uh, if you watch in here it needs uh, Qt5 core DLL, Qt5 widgets, the DLL. Uh, okay, where we can find these DLLs? Uh, when you install Qt5, uh, 
let me open this. Uh, my Qt5 is in disk C, local disk C. I open my Qt, Qt5, and uh, 5, MVC, and I open bin. <coughs> All DLLs are in our bin folder. Okay. Now the first thing, uh, the first uh, DLL that I need, if I run this, you can see Qt5 code DLL. Okay. Now I find, uh, I should find the Q to 5 core DLL okay this is Q to 5 core DLL you can see that we have Q to 5 core DDLL and we have Q to 5 core DLL Q to 5 core DDLL is for debugging these DLLs are related to debug mode uh, we want Q to, Q to 5 core DLL for the release mode okay just copy this and uh, Open your application folder and copy it, paste it here. Okay. Now, if I run this, you can see now I need Qt5 widgets.dll. Uh, now I find this uh, Qt5 widgets.dll. You can see that uh, in here also we have uh, two versions Qt5 widgets uh, d.dln and Qt5 widgets.dll. Uh, we need Qt5 widgets.dll. Simply copy this and uh, <coughs> paste it in your application. Okay, now if I run this, oh, it needs another DLL. Qt5 GUI.dll is missing. Now I find this. Qt5 GUI Qt5 GUI.dll copy and paste it in here ok now if I run this uh, you can see that it's working now I can give this uh, application um, to my friend you can make an application and you can give it to your friend and another, another person ok uh, you can see that now it's running successfully. And now, if I add this application in Dependency Walker, uh, let me close this. Now, if I open uh, Deploy App, okay, there will be no error for me because I have added all the DLLs. Yeah, you can see that uh, now it's uh, not giving me any error. Uh, okay, uh, thank you guys. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please, please subscribe my channel.